This is a demonstration of temperature sensors. Using the NXP I2C demo board, we can see how a typical temperature sensor operates. Here we have the SE98 device, and next to it an LED lamp that is connected to monitor the SE98's alarm signal line called event. To set up the demo, we use the Windows-based GUI interface to program the SC98 over the I2C bus on the demo board. The data is sent back and forth from the computer using a USB connection, which also powers the demo board from the computer. In the GUI panel, we see basic data, such as the device address, which selects only our SC98 on the I2C bus, which in turn connects many of the other I2C devices found on the demo board. We have selected the event output to be enabled. Next, in the center panel, we see both the current temperature reading and three different alarm registers. These are the upper boundary alarm trip value, the lower boundary trip value, and the critical alarm trip value. These are programmed for 27, 25, and 28 degrees respectively. Note the room temperature is about 23 degrees today. We can ignore the right-hand panel in the GUI for this demonstration. The current temperature is higher than the lower boundary, so we have one alarm, BAW, or below alarm window, which is now red. By warming the sensor with my finger, we notice the BAW changes to green, and the demo board's LED goes off. No alarms are tripped. Warming the sensor longer drives up the temperature, and we can reach a new alarm state, AAW, or above alarm window, which changes to red, and again lights the LED. Removing my finger from the sensor allows it to cool when the alarm is reset. By setting the BAW and AAW trip points outside the range of temperatures possible with the simple finger demo, the LED is now off and the three GUI flags are all green. Heating the sensor for longer to reach a higher temperature, we see the LED lamp comes on and the GUI reports an ACT, or above critical temperature alarm. This is typically used to force the cooling fan to turn on through direct hardware circuitry. In our demo, we also accurately know the room temperature as continuously reported in the GUI readout. High temperatures are the enemy of electronics, which run best in a controlled environment. That's not always possible when I take our personal electronics with us, in the car or outdoors, for example. Sometimes we need to know the temperature in a specific location, which may be remote from the temperature sensor I see. Not a problem for NXP's dual-channel temperature measurement device, which uses an ordinary silicon diode as a remote sensor, in addition to the other sensor channel inside the chip itself. Keeping electronics cool often requires a cooling fan, which in turn draws electrical power and will quickly drain the battery if left running at all times. One application of temperature sensor ICs from NXP is the control of fans in laptop computers. In fact, the computing power of leading-edge laptops can be improved by up to 30% simply by throttling the memory activity based on the actual temperature of the dim memory modules. NXP has an application-specific part to do just that. Another emerging application for embedded electronic temperature sensors is in LCD flat panel televisions that use energy-efficient LED backlighting. The LED performs performance will be degraded in both color quality and light output if the LEDs are allowed to reach higher temps, reducing the television's clarity and shortening its useful life. Temperature sensor basics. A silicon diode or diode connected transistor responds to temperature changes and this signal is converted to digital data by a precision delta signal analog to digital converter. The resulting data is sent upon request over the popular I2C or SM bus two-wire communications bus under the control of the bus master. The temperature data is also used internally by the temperature sensor to activate alarms if the temperature is too high or too low, and in some devices directly activate a cooling fan if a critical high temperature is reached before the normal high limit alarm is processed by the bus master. The alarm set points are programmed by the bus master over the same communications bus. Performance. All NXP temperature sensors can operate over a wide range of minus 40 to plus 125 degrees centigrade. Typically, these devices are used to monitor temperatures in the range of plus 60 degrees centigrade. The basic resolution, or ability to detect small changes, is one-eighth of a degree centigrade, 
with an accuracy typically one degree centigrade or better. All NXP temperature sensors are small footprint surface mount devices that consume very little supply current and operate from low voltage supplies as found in portable electronics.